How did Alan Carr help? It was a book I heard about from, I think, Ellen DeGeneres. I saw her on The Tonight Show talking to Jay Leno about quitting smoking, and she said, I read this book by Alan Carr. And I was, it was 2009. I was smoking cigarettes. I was really wanting to quit. I had no idea how. And I just got the book, and I read it, and then I was done. And you can smoke the whole time you read it. And then I was still drinking at the time, and I wasn't ready to give up drinking, but I knew at some point I would probably have to. So I bought the same Alan Carr's book, His Method for Drinking, and I had it on my shelf just waiting for me when I was ready. And then I had a really bad hangover in Cleveland in 2011, and I flew home and I read the book, and then I was done drinking. And it worked like that quickly. It was crazy. What made it work? It, it, it was logical. It just, the whole point of the book is that it's gentle, it's like, you're not wrong for smoking, you're not wrong for drinking, you're not a bad person, we're not gonna show you pictures of your lungs, we're not gonna tell you how more, like, increasing your uh, mortality rate. It just says, all the reasons you think you're doing this, we're gonna tell you why none of that is, it's not giving you any of that. Oh, you do it because it's social, it actually makes you an idiot and you say really dumb things. Oh, it makes you more, have liquid courage. Okay, if it's actually courage, why don't firefighters get loaded before they run in a building? Because it doesn't. It makes you stupider. You do stupid things. You're def so it, all these things I was convincing myself I needed either smoking or drinking for. Um, it, 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 and the, the smoking thing, the thing that really got to me was that smoking is not that hard of an addiction to quit. The, the addiction to nicotine is physiologically not a really tough addiction in terms of withdrawal symptoms. The withdrawal symptoms are uncomfortable. They're about the same as like feeling a little bit hungry. That's about as uncomfortable as it gets, which is nothing compared to heroin, uh, caffeine even, you know, alcohol, DTs. But the, the tobacco companies have convinced us, part of their marketing is that smoking, quitting smoking is difficult because if they send that message to enough people, they know us, they know humans go, it's hard, I can't do it. We always are looking for a reason to not do something, it's hard. And so they have propagated, it's hard to quit smoking. They're, they did that. It isn't really hard. And then he explains it to you and then you go, oh my God, it's not. And then it just goes away. And all you have to do is read a book. It really works.